Hey folks, Machine Repeat here. I'm out in Noblesville, Indiana, and we are filming an auction tomorrow, the retirement sale for Terry and Joni Lawson right here. And guys, thank you for helping us with the filming for the TV show this afternoon. You guys did a great job. Um, and folks, we're looking at the three tractors on the sale tomorrow, and boy, talk about nice. Uh, Terry, can you kind of walk us through here? 4850 is an 84 model? Yes, that is correct. It's an 84 model and has just a little over 6,000 hours on it. Okay. And you are the second? second owner. Okay. How long have you owned it? Quite a while. Oh, I probably owned it. Oh, darn. Uh, I don't know. I think we probably owned it 11 years or something. Okay. And Joni, we were talking. This is your favorite tractor, isn't it? Yes, it is. Now, why was the 4850 your favorite? Well, it was easy to learn how to drive. And I don't know. It's just... The tractor I probably used the most, so sure. I was the most comfortable with it. And um, it's, you know, it's an older tractor, so uh, I don't know, just not, it doesn't have all the technology right. stuff, and it just, I just enjoyed it a lot. Am I remembering uh, correctly, Joni, that you told Terry not to trade that one off? You wanted him to keep it? Well, I, I think I might have said yes. it first that I didn't oh, want yeah. him to. And I didn't want him to put me in anything that was hard for me to learn. Ah. <laughs> I didn't want him to keep switching me from gotcha. tractor to tractor. Right. But it's um, it's just a nice tractor. I enjoy that tractor. Yeah, it's very, very sharp, folks. Second owner, 4850, just over 6,000 hours. And another sharp one, a red one right behind it, Terry, the MX220. Uh, is it, or Tell us about this one now. Again, is it similar hours? Yeah, it's similar hours, uh, just a little over 6,000 hours. Okay. Uh, I bought that off a, a, a good friend of mine uh, in Pendleton, Mike Smith. Uh, he was trading up for another one and uh, let us uh, buy that one off of him before he traded it in. Okay. And it's been a good tractor, and I enjoy driving it. Uh, it's uh, got plenty of power, and it's comfortable, and uh, just more roomy. and. Yeah, you Everything mentioned that the, you, you were a fan of the comfort of that one. Yes, it, I felt uh, pretty darn comfortable in that one. Okay, mm -hmm. and then at the far end, folks, don't know if you can see it there, but a, a low hour at 6175R, uh, just over 1,200 hours, Terry? Yes, that is correct. Okay. Uh, uh, we're the original owners on it. Okay. Uh, it's, it was a, a fun tractor to run. Uh, okay. How did you use it? What tasks around the farm? We uh, mainly used it to uh, on the planters. On the corn planter and the air seeder. Okay. And uh, and it done a fine job, and uh, it was, and it had all the electronics on it with the auto steer. Okay. And that was something new for me to learn, and uh, and I probably didn't fully learn it without always having to ask for help. Well, you but, uh, you embraced the auto steer with open arms, <laughs> correct? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yes. Joni, that's not quite the case. Yeah, you know. You got uh, her done, it, but it was nice. Yeah. I, I mean, it was nice to have it. It was. To have that auto steer and, and the longer, bigger fields we had and and everything else, but uh, it was able to have all the electronics in it that was set up on our corn planter and stuff. Sure. And, and our son Jess, he was uh, that was kind of his deal. He sure. he could do it and okay. and it, it worked out real well. Now, folks, I'm going to pan just a little bit there, and that's the item on the sale. Possibly the you guys have been getting the most calls on your Freightliner, your FL80. Yes. Can you tell us a year and miles and the setup on that? It's a 2004. Okay. Uh, I think it has uh, 204,000 mile on it. Okay. Uh, it's got the 20 foot aluminum bed. Yep. With uh, control levers in the cab and, and at the back of the bed. Cat engine? Cat engine. Okay. Uh, automatic uh, Allison transmission. Okay. Which is just, uh, it's just excellent to have. It's, I just started the shifting. Right. And we had a semi too, but we had sold it before the sale right. and uh, everything. So, uh, but no, I love that truck. It's a, a good, nice truck. Uh, we could haul probably good corn, 680. Okay. I have had 704 on it, but I don't say do that too many times. Sure. But, uh, but no, for the most part, good corn, 680, 660 on corn and, and everything. Well, guys, my, my friend Ritter Cox, of course, was Schrader Real Estate and Auction, your auction company. He told me quite a while ago about this sale. He said, Greg, you got to you gotta come out to Noblesville. I'm glad it worked out. You guys, beautiful equipment um, and retiring. And I understand you're maybe heading for Arizona here soon. Uh, yeah, December the 27th, we're going to Arizona. Okay. 
And well, you just watch the weather reports in Minnesota. You send me a note when it's 80 and <laughs> down there and it's snowy in Minnesota, all right? <laughs> we'll we can do that. that. Well, guys, again, the sale is tomorrow. Online bidding, SchraderAuction.com, folks. If you need beautiful tractors, farm equipment, just the sweetest FL80 you'll ever see right there. Uh, Joni and Terry, thank you for telling us about your equipment. Well, you're Our pleasure. welcome. Our pleasure. Your next piece of equipment is on MachineryPete.com. Search equipment from dealerships across the country to find what you're looking for. Only on MachineryPete.com.